היי גייז, so we have another episode of the Braids series. Um, last time we had the snare um, model which was really interesting actually we've created some really interesting sounds. Today we have the wavetable model which will sound like this. With a, a timbre control we can scan through the wavetable. Let's add also a scope. And with the um, color control or the color knob, we can change between the different wavetables. This is interesting. Yeah, so we have a few wavetables we can use. This was interesting here. I think it was this. No. Was this one maybe we can use the, um, start with this one okay let's uh, get rid of the scope let's mute this for a second and I thought today we can use stages from mutable instruments or the segment generator from audible instruments as our sequencer and um, let's have let's say a five step sequence so I just uh, click um, each the button of each segment until it's yellow which means that we have a sequence. Let's take also the slew or the glide already all the way down. Very nice. Now the segment generator or um, stages will output voltage from 0 to 8 volts, which is much too much because I want to use this for pitch. So what I will need is to attenuate this signal. So let's already take a VCA, lower it down all the way. Let's use a clock also to run stages. Well, let's say 127, duplicated by two maybe. And this will go to the gate input of the first step. So we have five steps always counting from the right in the case of stages. So this will be our first step. Let's change also the values a bit, maybe something like this. And let's um, send this already to the VCA and let's use also quantum or no, let's use the one from no, let's use quantum. Maybe I will modulate also the notes. Let's use quantum. Let's already add. No, let's start with one. Let's just have a nice scale and send this to braids and let's see how this sounds like. Open the VCA a bit. Now let's add a slide somewhere here maybe. Oh yeah. Which has this effect because of the quantization. Let's add some reverb. cool nice okay so now what we can do we can do a few things first of all we can modulate the VCA to create this effect so let's see how can we do this um, let's use brains from the geodesics collection, sample and hold. Let's use the lower brains, but I will want to use a divided clock. Let's use a clock divided by 12, let's say, to trigger the sample and hold. And I will use the lower one because I will want to change the uh, range settings here to be, let me zoom in so we can see this. So now on the left, we will have negative one to positive one volts and not the usual negative five or negative positive five. So let's see what happens. Oh, maybe no, maybe I will use just the zero to positive one, sorry. Still nothing. We'll have to offset this signal a bit. Let's see, let's think what we can do. Okay, so 
Okay, let's use the dual attenuverter just to offset this sample and hold a bit. So we let all of the signal through, but I will offset it a bit. some variation in notes. But maybe I should use negative 5 to positive 5 and just attenuate it a bit. So let's do this really. Um, let's use this for example. Yeah, that's better. Okay, very cool. So this we can do. We can also modulate quantum. So let's see. Let's add another quantum. This is a nice uh, thing we can do with it. And let's see, let's use here um, the last segment, segment we have free. Use this as an LFO, so we click and hold the segments button until it's uh, blinking, so we have now an LFO here. And what I will do, I will send this LFO to um, this quantum, to the modulating quantum. And let's add some notes, let's say F and maybe uh, D also. Let's take the um, frequency maybe all the way down. And this quantum, um, the modulating quantum, will go to the note input of the quantum that's being modulated. And I will use also the trigger output to trigger the notes on and off. But this is actually <laughs> way too fast. So let's use our clock. Let's use the... Let's divide another clock by five, let's say. Very cool. And we can use the same LFO also to modulate the, um, the timbre or the, oh yes, or the um, scanning of the wave table. And let's see what happens when we add a slap. So we make this voice a bit more snappy, a bit more percussive. Send it through slap. And the gate I will use from the gate output of the... of the first quantum. So we have this rhythmic, uh, the same rhythm kept. And let's also um, trigger the lower brains with the same, so with the same uh, rhythm. And this will we will use. Let's delete, um, remove this uh, range setting. And this we will use to modulate the decay time. And let's add also some delay from all our devices, the Corona Blob 2. 
Let's use a ping pong delay. Let's sync it with our clock. Change the delay time. Oh, what have I done? I wanted to sync it. <laughs> Oh yeah. Nice. Maybe also the attack we can modulate a bit. Um maybe with the same clock. Oh yes. Okay, let's add another braids. Let's choose a different um, wavetable, maybe something something here. Hmm, let's see. What can we do now? What we can do is this. Let's add... Um, let's use the sample and hold... from Bog Audio. And Bog Audio. So we have a two here. And now what I will do, I will sample... Um, the voltage coming out from the first quantum. But this will be um, triggered also by the divided by 12 clock. And let's see what we will get here, which notes. And let's do something like this. We have one braids, let's add another one, but use also the pitch tools module for 21 kilohertz. I will send the same um, pitch information, but I will lower it um, one octave. Let's choose something different. Let's solo this just because now I'm going to add another one, another pitch tools module. This time we're going to raise it by seven semitones, and let's see what happens now that we have another one. This will be a stereo voice, different wave table. And do not mute. Oops. Yeah. And what we can also do now is use the delay, the signal, signal delay module from AS to create a different phase of the LFO that we are using already and modulate the timbre of the first oscillator, for example, which will be delayed by 350 milliseconds. And then we can delay this signal again by, let's say, 860 and use it for the second one, second um, braids. Let's add another signal delay and modulate the third oscillator. Let's add even more reverb.
Okay, let's add now a bass, let's say. Let's try to add a bass at least. Let's see what can we do. Okay, all the way down it works. And let's do... Oh yeah. Oh yes. Let's see, we have another sample and hold here, um, but I don't want... I want it divided by 4 clock actually, so let's use the clock multiplier from the clear factory. I will send our clock to its input. Let's multiply this already by 4 and send this to the second sample and hold. And now we can use this to modulate the timbre. sound like this. Let's see a different wavetable. Maybe you can also modulate with the same sample and hold modulate also the wavetables. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this also a bit percussive with slap. We will use the multiplied by 4 o'clock. Again, modulate also the decay time with the same sample and hold. Let's solo this. Let's see if we can add also some hi-hats to create some groove. Again, the wavetable. Let's use this time Spank. Also Vult, this is much more a snappy, this envelope. So let's see, let's solo this again. And I want again the multiplied by 4 o'clock. No, I will use this. I will mul uh, duplicate the multiplier. I will use the same um, the same clock, but I will modulate also the um, the multiplications. So we create a sort of a ratcheting effect. And all what we have to do is lower the select. Let's start from three actually uh, multiplied by three. Let's see how far shall it go. Let's say until multiplied by six. That's good. Let's send this to the gate. and look for something that's a bit more hyatt like let's see what happens when we modulate um, modulate it with a frequency so its frequency let's use the first braids
Oh yeah. Just so we get some more variation. Oh, this is nice. Let's see how it sounds everything together. I need another sample and hold. Um, let's use another one from Bog Audio. Although this will output only pos uh, positive voltage, I don't want just positive voltage. So let's go with South Pole. Um, with the shh, this one. Use again the trigger from the clock multiplier. This will go to the decay time. Now they are normalized. So we have here the same trigger, but we will get different signal. So let's uh, uh, modulate the panning, which is here. And let's find a nicer sound maybe. And let's start with four. I don't want to start at three. Take this down a bit so it's not going all the way to multiplied by eight. Let's go from four to six. Also modulate the color. And modulate the timbre also. So we have even more variation in sound. And I will use a different different oscillator. Although Without FM, it's also nice, but let's use the last uh, oscillator we've added because its uh, pitch is not changing. Oh, yes. Let's also modulate the attack and let's use the first one. Let's add another voice, something on top. Something constant on top, uh, some high uh, high frequencies. Um, but I want another slap, I think. Let's see. Let's solo this again. I will use the one, the clock multiplied by four again. Yes, exactly something like this I wanted. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds like with everything else. Okay, modulated timber. Um, with this sample and hold. Again, modulate also the decay. So let's use the same sample and hold multiplied by four. And 
And now what we can do, we can use the LFO coming out of stages to modulate the panning also here. So let's see the panning of this voice. We'll have to offset it a bit. Something like this maybe. Add some high frequencies. Oh yeah. Okay, it's not a big patch, but it sounds nice. And I think that that's it for today. Of course, uh, like always, there will be a link in the description to this patch if you want to download it and have a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a patron. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.